before I start the vid, um, ap I will apologize if I keep coughing during this vid. It's because I have a bad, f <coughs> a bad, f a bad cough. Anyway, on to the vid. Hey, I'm gonna run you right here today, and God, my fucking jaw hurt. But that's the spice point. Welcome to this another episode of Top 5 Zombies, and it's been a long ass time. Wow, since I've done this. Holy crap. It's been like a month. But it doesn't take long. So, today is going to be the Top 5 wish list for Black Ops 3 or World at War 2, whichever the hell the game is going to be called for zombies. Now, let's get to the gameplay and my reasons. Or my, like, my wish list. So coming in at number five, I'm going to have to say this, and this one really hurts me to say it, but, you know, no mystery box, you know, for some certain maps. You know, we've had the mystery box since the very beginning, and since Black Ops, like, you know, since Dead, when Dead Ops Arcade, even though I hate the map, it got rid of the mystery box, replaced it with the shit power-ups, which I was a bit sceptical about, but, you know, it makes it more challenging, even though the map's fucking shit. Um, then it, when land, when transit came out, um, they ended up, you know, adding a feature only for the survival maps, like nuke, nuke shit, town, farm, and, and Nocturne Toten's ugly sister. Um, they added a feature to get rid of the mystery box, which is basically magic, also getting rid of perks. <clears throat> Anyway, um, also th with that feature, it wouldn't. It would also do it on grief. Now, getting rid of the mystery box would be a bit of a challenge because it'd be fun going around with just war weapons. But then again, it make you want to think: Should we get rid of pack a punch? I say we should get rid of pack a punch, but you know, not too much. But you know, get some maps we shouldn't have the mystery box. You know, then it'd be more of a challenge. All right, at number four, we are going to have. I'm going to have to say, bigger maps, like not too big as like transit size, but around the size of you know, let's say let's go for the size of Shinonuma plus Doris. Let's just go for that. <coughs> and uh, on Moon, it sort of tried that, you know. Because, you know, they did the little, little technique where they got rid of, where they made it one place, you don't have rounds, you just have to fight the the crazy, na the crazy, crazy rapists. And, you know, you just bomb around in Area 51, once you get to the moon, you gotta go and do your shit. But that had pack but on the earth, pap, chug, speed, on the moon, other perks. Like, there's six perks on the moon. And two perks on Earth, which switches around at will. Okay, so coming in at number three, I'm going to have to say the cam a campaign that's go that can be sometimes non-canon to the storyline and canon to the storyline. Now, this is what a lot of people have been wanted a campaign mode for it. Now that is a great idea, but unfortunately, <sighs> Treyarch. Trolls is every time they say campaign mode, blah blah blah, zombies, blah blah blah, transit, blah blah blah. You know, then they said campaign mode, blah blah blah, and then they're like, wait, did they say campaign mode, blah blah blah? But you know, Treyarch, they lied to us. That's just wrong, Treyarch. I want my campaign! But you know, I wanted that, like, it should be, ca like, the campaign should be non canon to the game mode. And the game mode should be canon to the story. Because we've all known that the story was canon. And if we'd have a campaign, it probably might work if it going canon. But I'd rather, you know, have it going non-canon. Because it probably end up as the abomination of Sonic 06. Alright, let's get to number two. Alright, number two, I'm going to have to say smaller maps as well for solo players. Now... I said I like big maps, and I but I don't want just big maps. I also want a few small maps. But you know, the maps 
they are amazing, some of them are. Like, we got maps like Chino Numa, we got Doris, we had Kino the Totem, we had like Ascension, or like Mob of the Dead, Origins, those great maps. We got those sort of great maps, and you know, that most of them, like, most of them aren't small, like. Like I've mentioned, like, not doing Toten, Vorox, Shinonuma, and Doris. Those maps are small. In Kino the Toten, it was a medium size. Then came the size problem. It began after Kino the Toten 5 and Shitops. Um, that's just, that's just heartbreaking. Why? Why did you make them start getting too big? Now, unfortunately, my favorite map, Moon, it is a huge map. I mean, that's just, just stupid. Making a big map, you know, it's, it's great, but some people like to go onto a small map now and then. Like this gameplay of Nocturne Totem, for example. People love a bit of a small map now and then. Like, so they can just camp with their bros. And finally, we at number one, we have, I, I just, I just don't want to say it, but, you know, yeah. better Easter egg rewards, and is that to be not just that, it's also a tie with the Easter egg rewards, and also, I would like to have, also see better, new one, better wonder weapons. Now, let's get to the first one I was talking about, better Easter egg rewards. Now, we've not had the best Easter egg rewards. The first Easter egg we ever got was in, like, the Reef. It was just shooting fucking teddy bears. Then we didn't have any Easter eggs on two other shit maps. Like, and then, you know, meh. Didn't have an Easter egg. Ascension just gave us a garbage death machine. Which is probably not likely to go to ki not kill any dogs. <laughs> Call of the Dead did a great job. A fantastic job. You could get, like, all the perks from George as a reward for killing him. Which I can sort of say is a mini easter egg. And the main easter egg, you get the Wunderwaffe DG2. How cool is that? <coughs> Shangri-La, a fantastic reward. Even though I say it's the hardest zombies map in all of zombies, I'd probably have to say it had a fantastic easter egg reward. All eight perks you get for free. Just picking up a damn stone. That's awesome. Moon, we blow up the earth. Wah, wah, wah. But, one good thing came out of it. Free perks. Then what happens? Same as Shangri-La. You don't lose them when you die. Then, Transit came out. The shittiest reward of all time. If, if you did Rick Cobb and Easter Egg, he gave you fucking nothing. What a cunt. And Max says he gave you a fucking random power up. That shit. <coughs> <coughs> Die rise perks weren't permanent. Buried did the same old thing, but permanent again. Uh, Mob of the dead, you just end the game. <sighs> same with Origins, end the game. Alright then. And now for the other one I was talking about. If you guys remember, I said, just before I talk about the other one, um, just remember that if you are going, wanting to do an Easter egg, make sure it's an Easter egg with a great reward. Just, just put... Anyway, now for the Wonder Weapons. Anyway, now for the Wonder Weapons, before I was rudely interrupted by a cunt. Now, the Wonder Weapons we've been given aren't the best Wonder Weapons. Like the jet gun, Winter's Howl, VR11, you got a few prime examples. Um, then there's other Wonder Weapons that I didn't really like. But, you know, they're not the worst ones. And I just want to see better Wonder Weapons, that's all I'm going to say. Anyway, guys, that was the vid. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you sub click that subscribe button and like button. And make sure, if you want to, you know, tell me your opinion, what you want to see for a future top five, comment down below. And if you want to tell me your opinion about, you know, the, uh, oh, light. 
if you want to tell me your opinion about the top, about what you want for a wish for the wish list, comment down below and I'll write reply. But don't go. You should put that on the list. Don't do that. Just just give me a valid reason. So um, anyway, now if you guys need me, I'm going to pre-order Minecraft too.